Well, hello everyone. I have here another Bible review for you. This is one of my favorite all-time Bibles. Uh, I have been checking this online for a while. Uh, I was looking at some pictures of people that already have this Bible, but this is a bit different. Uh, what we got here today is uh, NASB, New American Standard, uh, Reader's Edition, done by Allen, R.L. Allen, in petrol blue color, goat skin, uh, with three, I think this is a blue gray kind of color, but it looks more to me like a teal uh, or aqua color and uh, comes with three of them but it's for ribbons and it comes with a lovely liner in the Riva calfskin leather I love this leather, this is amazing and it does match the actual color of the cover so I think this edition has stepped up the game massively very happy with the corner work done in this edition, as you can see right here. Very nice. The corner work is amazing. And Alan uh, got a Royal Young Blood to do this for them. So, this is a Young Blood uh, binding. Now, I have to say, you know me, I love rounded spines as opposed to flat or kind of square. In this case, I think, look at this, John Blood has come up with a slightly more rounded spine as they used to. Normally they are very very flat, very square, which I don't mind, but they're not my priority. I don't, I don't, once you have a rounded spine you just don't want to go back to that. And I think they hurt us and they've done, look at this, a much rounded spine, which I am very, very pleased to see. Well done, R.L. Allen. Thank you so much. Now, it could be a bit more rounded, like uh, the old R.L. Allens of the past, uh, which I do have like a long primer. They're a bit slightly more rounded than this, but this is great. Thank you, thank you so much. I love it. Not so sure if that's just my edition that I just got from them, uh, or that's just something that they're gonna start doing. But if they are, wow, thank you, thank you. Anyway, this is uh, the front of the, the book. We have this um, uh, lovely uh, end sheet matching also the color of the cover. Some people complain, sometimes they don't match. I don't mind, that, that actually for me is, is, is uh, part of the, the color uh, scheme and it's great. Now we have a bit of uh, cardstock on the front, very thick and nice, smooth paper. And then we have the presentation uh, pages, family record, children, marriages, grandchildren and deaths. This paper is awesome. We got here is a very nice, uh, I think it's 36, 38, sorry. I'll double check, I'll let you, I'll, I'll put in the description box uh, uh, the, the, the GSM of this paper, but it's, it's very nice, it's very nice. I'm not sure if it's 36 or 38, can't remember right now. I'll let you know, I'll put it on the description here, in the, even in the video as uh, I edit this video later on and uh, also put down in the description box the description of this specific Bible. Uh, this is the Amer New American Standard and we have here the 1995 edition so if you are concerned about the updates of this uh, New American Standard coming up, I think it's 2020, well get one of these 1995s to have them there for many years to come if this is what you like. If you like this edition, uh, this is one of the best ones you can get, in my opinion. Okay, as you can see here, it's printed in the Netherlands on acid-free paper by uh, Royal John Blood. This is one of the best papers you can get. And uh, 
here we have the Old Testament. And this is amazing. Look at the crisp, uh, big font, verse by verse, two column and a single column in the middle with the notes, uh, the textual notes and references, but plenty of space on the sides margins to, to write extra notes and references. Not many, because it's not meant to be a note-taking edition, but you can still get some room there for a, a small amount of notes. This is around uh, uh, half inch, probably, of margin to cut here, even a bit more than that. But this paper, my gosh, I love it. It's so lovely. And uh, very, 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 very small uh, show through. I don't see a lot of show through, it's very opaque. When you lift up your page, you barely see anything on the other side. Uh, so I think you're gonna love reading from this Bible. That's why it's called a Reader's Edition. Very large uh, font, I, I very easy to, on the eye to read. And uh, one thing I love about this edition is, uh, as you can see, it has this lovely red under gold art guild, but it's a very dark red impressed because normally uh, John Blow would have done this a bit lighter like more kind of salmony type of color but this very dark and deep uh, like the old-fashioned uh, Allens used to uh, come with and I love it I think this is great I love the new red that they're using and it seems to me that's double sprayed and this is a black letter edition go to the New Testament you'd see there's no red letter anywhere so if you have a point with red letter this is this is good it's just black I don't have a point with red letters if they're done properly and in this case it's just all black now it is a verse by verse edition as you can see which is excellent for preaching teaching uh, or just common study uh, regular study and uh, I think it's every every Bible should be Verse by verse, by verse. That's just my own preferences, my own preference. And uh, uh, also, it seems that uh, uh, I want to show you here. Oh, each book starts on a new uh, page. So if you have like a Luke that finishes up here, you want to have this room for notes. So uh, although this is not meant to be a note. Uh, taking type of uh, Bible or wide margin, you will have generous margins and you will have these amazing uh, areas in, in your Bible to write additional notes. In the back of the Bible, you have also a pretty good concordance. Let me show you. Here we go. Very, very thick. Look at this. That concordance is amazing. But the font is a bit small so you are gonna have to use this you're gonna either have very good eyes or probably you're gonna struggle reading this uh, this concordance in a three column but uh, if you have uh, glasses or something you you may, may have to use them to read this uh, that's just a little complaint there I, I don't have a problem reading this I have good eyes uh, at the moment, uh, sometimes if I'm tired I may struggle a little bit, but uh, if my eyes are fresh, I still I am able to, to read this type of font. Now in the back we've got these uh, maps, they are full color, okay. Maps by the Lockman Foundation, 1999. I think they're very nice, very readable. I mean, all the all the different uh, words, even though this is dark color, they are easy to be read. I mean, that's that's important to me. If uh, if I'm looking at a map, I want to be able to read to, uh, for, uh, you know, the, the, whatever it's being written there uh, nicely. And uh, this is the case. And we have all this amount of rule pages in 
note-taking paper at the end of your Bible. So you can have your own sermons, you can have here own studies, articles, prayers, uh, uh, write with your Bible. And then you have one, two, three, and four pages of uh, cardstock for further note-taking. And this amazing cover closing your Bible. Uh, it comes with a uh, generous app. Now, on this edge, on this side, this is actually nearly, I'd say, this is full size app. Right? Now, on top of the bottom, it's very generous, it doesn't touch, as you can see. And some people think this is a, def uh, a defect, it is not. This is actually the way it's meant to be. It's a generous app. As you can see, to protect the pages, but this side, I tell you what, this is the side where you are gonna hold your Bible most of the time, from the from the spine and from the, the this end, right? So it makes sense that this side has a larger yeah which covers most of the gilding, so it protects that from any scratches and so on, and the top and the bottom not so much. So why to have that extra amount of leather here which could get in the, in, in the way where you don't need it. So I think this is a very nice way of doing the apps. I love it. I, I do that myself. I try to get uh, this side larger than this one unless requested otherwise. Uh, but I think this case is, is the way to go. Now the spine as you can see is the typical Allen spine Stulting uh, hops here, not raised, and an amazing uh, gold stamping, perfect double line uh, tooling around the perimeter as well, and a very, very, very flexible and soft leather. The goat skin has a nice grain, and as I said before, this new Meriva calf skin for the liner is amazing, soft, smooth, flexible. Uh, the grain is lovely, check that out. And with a little bit of use, this is gonna become like butter, literally. Okay, so that's my review. This uh, edition, I forgot to mention, but you can really tell that this is ha it has uh, the typical uh, one line of uh, uh, gold gilding around the perimeter too, inside the cover. That's there, that's all around. I didn't mention it, sorry, but that's there too, okay? Just one, not two. If you like this uh, uh, video, please like it, subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, check out my other videos, there's plenty of them for you to check and uh, help you to uh, decide what Bible you want to get uh, for different uh, moments in life, for different purposes. Uh, see you very soon, hopefully in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.